Little to nothing is known about the hunters, as no intel has been found in New York City or in Washington DC. However, their goal, behavior, appearance and other new recent intel provides us with clues upon which many have speculated. This led to many theories on the origins of the hunters, which will be summarized in this video. Hunters were first introduced in the Dark Zone of Manhattan. Shadowy figures dressed in black using shade tech to target and eliminate division agents. After the extraction of the antivirus from the Dark Zone, the Hunters also showed up assisting the Last Man Battalion in their strongholds and in the underground of Manhattan. Six to seven months later a distress signal called us to DC. Investigating an anomalous call for assistance from Agent Andrew Edwards, we found a shade distress signal in an open courtyard. As we advanced through the building, comms were breaking up. Searching the last known position of Edwards, we saw his body hanging from the ceiling. He was KIA. As the light turned off and the shade tech got jammed, a hunter appeared from a cloud of smoke. Before being able to inflict any damage, the hunter managed to shock us. As he slowly walked towards us, some believe they saw him gesturing for us to leave, before he quickly left the area. After the hunter left, comms came back online. This didn't appear as a simple liquidation. The hunter seemed to have interrogated him before he was brutally executed. What did he want from Edwards? Isaac's analysis showed that his wife, Carolyn Edwards, and his son, Joseph Edwards, were both deceased. The status of his daughter, however, Holly Edwards, was unknown. Perhaps she knows something. Perhaps it doesn't mean anything. Registered residence, Belmont Hills, Pennsylvania. Time with division. One year, six months, seven days. Registered dependents. Caroline Edwards, wife, status, deceased. Joseph Edwards, son, status, deceased. Holly Edwards, daughter, status, unknown. As we explored the rest of DC, 12 hunters were found in particular places. Each one had to be summoned using a specific method. These methods were hinted at through graffiti ciphertext riddles. Unciphering them shows what to do. One of the 12 hunters, Demon, was the hunter that interrogated Edwards. Sometimes phantoms are even sighted roaming, but as soon as they see us, they disappear. This intel provides basically no useful information, and the only thing we can do is speculate. Other agents have come up with theories of their own, which will be listing from least to most likely. The first and one of the new theories is that hunters are contracted by or working for the CEO of the Odea tech company, Vikram Malik. The sole reason for the theory, if you can even call it that, is that the Odea insignia bears similarity in its shape to the hunter insignia. Malik later portrayed the division as we helped with clearing out the hyenas and recovering important batteries, but there aren't any leads that link him to the hunters. Others theorize that hunters are specialist units, part of the Black Tusk private military company. Their aspirations in hunting down division agents and eliminating them co-align, as well as the similarities in their appearance. Both using brutal ways of interrogating agents to extract information from them, but what information that is, is unknown. However, the Black Tusk, nor their contractors, seem to have had any contact with the hunters. There's complete silence on that front. On top of that, the Black Tusk already have a specialist unit in the BTSU, led by Barden Schaefer. Besides, the Black Tusk use more advanced or at least different technology as opposed to the Hunters, who appear to be using Shade Tech. But the most convincing piece of evidence is that Hunters eliminate Black Tusk units too when in combat with them. Although this is more of a gameplay mechanic rather than a lore mechanic, it seems unlikely the two are related. If not Black Tusk, perhaps they are first or second wave agents turned rogue and joined up with Aaron Keener. Some believe even Keener himself was disguised as a hunter and interrogated Edwards. Similarly to the Black Tusk, their ambitions align as they both want to eliminate division agents. It also would explain the knowledge and usage of Shade Tech used when in combat with us. Keener kidnapped Vitaly Chernenko, the Russian virologist, and left Manhattan with Gordon Amherst equipment used to create the Green Poison. 
Assuming Keener wants to unleash another virus, or at least being able to threaten with the idea, the division getting their hands on the antivirals in the Manhattan Dark Zone or in DC would be bad for him. This could lead him to contract rogue agents as hunters to hunt down division agents. This theory seems more likely than the others, but it has a big flaw. Hunters carry the Shaytek watches of the agents they have killed as trophies on their shoulders. While most of these are their usual orange color, some are colored red, hinting at the fact that they both hunt down rogue and division agents. Obviously, this could have been Keener's plan to eliminating loose ants, but it seems unlikely. On top of that, they are equipped with smoke bombs and tech that can jam shade equipment and shock shade agents. This isn't available to division agents, disproving most of this theory. One of the more grounded theories suggests hunters are Spetsnaz or similar Russian specialist units, some even comparing them to Bodark from the Ghost Recon universe. It was theorized they are a covert unit that operated below the radar and waited for an opportunity to take down the United States government. This explains them hunting down division agents who are fighting for continuity of government. Others believe Russia is looking for a cure, and since Keener kidnapped Chernenko, they are hunting down the agents in search of the cure. Some people even compare them to an earlier version of Bodar, as their insignia appears very similar. To avoid anyone suspecting their origins, they dressed up in full black combat gear, hide behind ballistic masks, and in general keep a low profile. Manhattan's hunters only used weapons of Russian origin, strengthening this theory. But this isn't the case for the ones in DC. However, Chernenko's audio logs confirmed Russian forces withdrawing from the United States soil, as major Russian cities had to deal with problems of their own in the aftermath of the pandemic. Secondly, the smallpox sample Amherst used to create the green poison was stolen from Chernenko's lab in Russia. In terms of finding a cure, it's more likely they are working on their own antiviral. Especially since the situation is so dire, it makes sense for the government to use their precious resources back home. One newer theory combined with an older one suggests that hunters were activated as part of a covert CIA unit that evolved from a unit created by President Truman back in the days. This unit was to respond in absolute national emergencies to take out strong tactical threats to the continuity of the United States through guerrilla tactics with advanced technology as if it's a third wave. This was enacted at the Navy Hill bunker and is called the J. Phillips Protocol. There's an entire conspiracy theory linked to the J. Phillips Protocol, which will be detailed in another intel brief. However, this is a very interesting and likely theory. Hunters are elite soldiers, but it's unknown with whom their loyalties lie, which ties in perfectly with the covert nature of the CIA unit. A phantom hunter even has been seen at Navy Hill and disappears once you look at it. Data miners have gained information on the raid and one power play item activates the J. Phillips Protocol, leading to hunters assisting you against elite opponents for a short time. The J. Phillips Protocol's goal and the hunter's actions co-align perfectly, with the exception for one thing. According to the protocol, the unit was to take out strong tactical threats to the continuity of the United States government. The division, with the exception of rogue agents, is an agency that wants to preserve this continuity of government too, meaning that they have the same purpose. This begs the question, why would hunters eliminate division agents? There are two answers to this. One being that they don't want to take a risk and take out all agents, both division and rogue. The other one is that their vision changed, similarly to the president's loyalty and are looking to create a new dynasty and are preventing any loose ends would explain their collection of the watches too, as these watches provide possible intel for other agents if left behind. In turn, it makes sense that they wear masks as their identity might hint towards their client. As mentioned at the start, many theories yet no factual intel. The mystery around the hunters remains, although we might see some intel once the raid is released. I'm currently already working on the J. Phillips Protocol intel brief, so we'll hear about that soon. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the faction brief, I would like to ask you to like or dislike, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in the intel briefs on each faction with the summarized information from this video. To end the video, I have a question for you. What Hunter Origins theory do you think is most likely to be true? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you.
I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.